<laughs> hey guys, this is Di Apple Reviewer, and today I'm here with another review. And today I have two cases to review for you guys, which are right over here. And these cases are going to be for the brand new iPod Touch fourth generation, which I have right over there. These cases are from BudgetGadgets.com. Their link will be down below in the description. They have a variety of many different types of cases for a bunch of different devices, including the new iPod Touch 4th generation. So let's start off with our first case, which is right over here. I'm going to take it out of the packaging. And these cases are very, very cheap. So they're going to run you for maybe... Uh, a few cents even maybe maximum a dollar or two so I'm gonna put the prices down below in the description and it does appear if it is red but it's sort of an orangish a bright orange so uh, but it looks red on the camera so this case is basically just a regular silicone case I'm gonna go ahead and take out the cardboard as you can see it's a regular silicone case just one color they do have the cutouts right here as well as for your sleep wake button and the camera hole which is right over here at the bottom is just one strip which I kind of don't like that the fact that it's not separated uh, since it's not protecting fully the bottom but other than that I'm gonna go ahead and put it on right now and show you guys what I need so just like that it's very easy to put on so there you go this is how it looks like on the device as you can see, the cutouts are actually pretty accurate for a case that's only going to cost you a few dollars. The only uh, thing is maybe your sleep wake button, you're going to have a little hard time pressing it. Uh, and at the bottom, as I said, everything's just left open, which I kind of don't like that. I mean, they could have, you know, separated uh, them just to offer the protection right over here. Um, and as well as your front is not covered, they do cover around it, which is another good thing. So this is basically just if you want a case to protect your device and to look fashionable and pretty, this is definitely a case to opt for. And this is again from BudgetGadgets.com, the link will be down below in the description and we're going to go on to the next case. Okay, so right here I have the second case and we're going to go ahead and take it out of its packaging. This one is actually with a pattern in the back of it. It's a tire pattern, so as you can see right here, it's a tire pattern, and there's a few companies who actually sell uh, this case with the uh, tire pattern, but again, this is like, this is the copy of this case, so again, uh, the cutouts are all, always going to be made, uh, you also have your little cutout for the camera, and again, the bottom is left just wide open which again I'm not too sure about that we're gonna go ahead and put it on our iPod now as you can tell the silicone is good quality though so it's not the silicone that's gonna tend to really rip uh, it's nice and rigid actually this actually feels really really good especially with the uh, backing over here with the tire pattern it actually looks fantastic as you can tell and again the cutouts the cutouts are a bit actually less obvious because in the back right here you have the pattern that's also a little bumpy so again that would be a downside same thing for your volume rockers you might want to like press on the actual tire pattern which can cause a few problems other than that as you can see it's pretty much the same as the other case everything looks great and now we're going to pass through the rating of both of these cases so both of these two cases are going to be available on BudgetGadgets.com. Their link again down below in the description. And for the first case that I reviewed, which was this one right here, which is just a regular silicone case, it is available in different colors. So you can go check that out on their website. And I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 5 for being a cheap and effective case that I would use on my iPod, whether if I just want to protect it for the day or use it as my uh, occasional case then I would definitely opt for this one and for the second case that I reviewed I'm also going to be giving it a 4 out of 5 and this one I'm going to be giving that mark for the tire pattern since there are a lot of cases that are that have actually this tire pattern which sell for about $20 and this one you're gonna get it for a really low price you can also get this case in different colors and again you can go ahead and check that out down below in the description, their website is there, and I'd like to thank once again BudgetGadgets.com for sending out these two cases 
for review and that concludes my review i hope you guys enjoyed it leave me a comment down below which one do you guys prefer do you prefer the tire uh pattern case or do you prefer the regular silicone uh, case that is right over here? And also don't forget to follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com forward slash iAppleReviewer. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.